Good health to you, sir. Yeah!
Good day to you. What do you need? I have everything you ordered, Master Butcher. Splendid. Let's be having it. Mmm, <laughs> looks good. Here's something for your effort. I've got something else for you. The armorer's wife wants to make air awful soup. I tried to slip her goose organs, but she wasn't fooled. She wants to make awful soup? Air awful. Innards. Can you get those? Ah, hair innards. Right. Not as shallow as it looks.
Who's there?
Gabriel. The pig turns up willingly for the slaughter.
creep around in the dark without the light. Here you are, and good help. How's it going? I'm looking for an odd jobber here. Elijah's his name. From Moho yet? Yes, I know. He's sitting outside at the farthest bench. Thanks. have to have a light after dark? I'm glad to see you. Are you Elijah? That's me. Why? I have your father's last will and testament on me. <laughs> so my old man's kicked the bucket, has he? Not yet, but he's at death's door. That is certainly interesting to hear. But let me ask you this. Who the hell are you and how come you turn up here with father's will? One ale anyway, here, the old miser won't leave me even a piss pot. He's disinherited you, but if you return home, he might change his mind. Go back home? Not a chance. Let him choke on his bloody money. People come to see things differently on their deathbed. You might regret that one day. Here. By Christ, who are you anyway? You sound like a preacher. You don't have to go back for good, but you ought to say farewell to your father. To hell with him. I suppose you're right. Thank you. My pleasure. Goodbye. Pour me an ale. Yeah. 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 One beer for me. There's no end to this cleaning. I'll bring it God right away. God save you. What was it you wanted Coming from right me? Up. There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables to the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labor. I'd like you to steal the grosh and he owes me. And also a pouch containing an amulet right he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone. So when he realizes yeah, he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. Right if you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the groschen as a reward. See you later. God be with you. Can I sleep? Certainly. For how long? 
Just the one night. All right. My here you go. You'll like it here. See you later. Looking for some... Lost something here?
Yeah. God save you. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive by fleas and lice without his amulet. I'm always on the lookout for work. What have you got? When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. What use would her shawl be to you? I'll slip it to someone else and then tell the draper his sweetheart puts no value on the gifts he gives her. He's really jealous, so he'll be mad as hell. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? What's it worth to you? Don't worry. I'll reward you in Groshen. Goodbye. God save, what can I do for you? Doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? I overheard you in the tavern yesterday. If I were you, I'd let the blacksmith pull it. Why? I knew a man once who was in the same situation as you. His tooth was sore, and he was frightened to have it pulled. And what happened to him? In the end, half his jaw almost fell out. So I wouldn't underestimate it. But... but I can't go to the blacksmith. Don't tell me you're afraid. I am afraid. I don't mind admitting it. You know what? I'll go with you and make sure you get out of there alive. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Jesus, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so.
Welcome, Henry. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. Look, I, I can't. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward, and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. It's Christ, out. The agony. Hey, want to keep it as what a memento? I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. You, stop right where you are. You there, surrender! Stop. Are you You've come in. Don't move a finger! What the hell do you think you're doing hurting people like that? We won't put up with violent brutes here. Is that clear? This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. You think I'm so... All right, here you are. All right, just make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah.
I'll be with you. You must be that lucky fellow everyone's talking about. Lady Luck has been good to me lately, true enough. But that can change quicker than you know. People say that you get help from a lucky charm. Is that not allowed? No, it is. It just interests me, that's all. Why? Hand over that cat paw. Oh, what? Or I'm going to start breaking some limbs, and they won't belong to a cat. You know what? Go and yell at someone else, you mongrel. Good luck to you. About that talent. What about it? I'll buy it from you. You want to buy my cat paw? You're joking. No, I'm not. I'll buy it. See? In the end, it brought me more luck than I thought. <laughs> Thanks. May the Lord watch over you. I wonder what Teresa's doing now. Yeah. I could stop Hold by and see her again. Oh, Lord, I enjoyed tasty. it last time. Good on Brandon for frying. Come and get it, fine people. And pork crackling too. A joy to taste. God save you. From the yard or I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! Have so, show me what you've Come got. All winter. Buy them before someone the tooth of layman Procopius, which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. One cat paw for luck. Marvellous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. So, we've got all that sorted out. And now, to the next matter. Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes. Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. Habit. And I have Habit. just the fellow. A good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now, he's lying in the small church in Sasa. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little. But according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Good luck, then. Sausages, meat of all 
need something for my husband. Yeah. You up to it? Get out of here. Good God, you look terrible. Did someone attack you? My condolences. Thank you. The Lord be with you. Good luck then. My con Thank you. I've come to pay my last respects to a dear relative. Have you? I've never seen you before. I believe I'm your cousin. Unlike yours, my father never left Lasham. He must have told you where our family comes from. He never talked about him much. They didn't see eye to eye. Nah, you're right. Bad blood. For a long time, I didn't know my father had a brother. So then you know my father also married a woman from Blashim. Ugh. Oh, I could tell you some tales about Ludmilla. I knew it! You lying wretch! Don't let me see you here again! Take care. I'll chop you! Father, Vincent of Merhoyed sent me to you. What's the matter, my son? I'm bringing Vincent's last will and testament. Almighty Father, be merciful. What happened? Master hey. Vincent has been taken seriously ill. A disease has spread in Merhoyed. Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. God in heaven! But Vincent is still alive? Yes. For now. Let us hope the good Lord will leave him here with us a while longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. Here, take a few coins for your trouble. Thank you, Father. God be with you. I have the... Lord Almighty, be quiet! Not here! You don't want everyone to see it, do you? Wait for me at my place. Take care. Garlic soup for the winter, onion soup for the spring, 
Asparagus for taste. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want? You God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? I brought you that girl's shawl. Thank you. I'll hide it in the farmer's bed and then tell the draper. It'll cripple the bastard if you don't kill him outright. Who is it you want to get revenge on? The farmer or his maid? All of them. They're all a bunch of diabolical swine. And that draper, too. Is there anything else you want? One last thing. But it won't be so easy this time. I got my own back on the farmer and that wench. Now it's the draper's turn for stealing my girl. Steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy, and he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it, I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. The avenging angel is at your service. I'll get right on it. Good luck, then.
Hmm. What was that? Get the hell out of here. There's nothing here. Hey, what are you doing here? Clear it off quick or I'll throw you out. God, what's happened to you? You look like you... Good luck.
God be with you. I have the shroud for you. Help you now. Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why... See you later. That's where he lives. Let's teach him a lesson. Oh, oh fuck. Die. I saw him go Fuck. In. Henry, delay them. What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. I'll see you in the next go. What are you doing here? He swindled me, too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go.
Hey. You there. Stop. What's that? Well, I... Surrender! Well, oh, you, you committed a crime, and I... I've got you. You should have thought twice about... Hey, you. It's forbidden to walk at night here. Good day to you. Thanks. So what is it? I need a few necessities around the house. Have you come to get? My, that looks good. Well, that'll be about all. Something to do here. Thank you. Do you want something? Jesus! Hmm, what was that? Get the hell out of here!
Yeah. Yeah. My respects to you. I've got the Draper's tinderbox for you. <laughs> he who laughs last, laughs loudest. Here's the boots I promised you. Wear them in good health. And now I'll go and get my revenge. Take care now. God save, can I help you with anything? I've brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. <coughs> <coughs> to horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there uh, the first one is brown and the second is grey. Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Look at that Moldavite. Isn't it wonderful? Sophie will look like an angel. So what's next? I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Problems? I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> As if I didn't know you. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... 
But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right, then. God be with you. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children. No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. 